So that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we lied. We're still in 2016. Yeah. Yep, she's a liar. We have one last video. Uh, today is the 30th? 30th, yes. 30th. So, basically, we're going to just do a really short one for you guys. Um, we were at the gym yesterday, and we actually did our squats together for the first time in a million years. We don't usually have the same workout schedule anymore. Um, there we go. That's better. So, we were doing squats. Um, I was going for a max. What were you doing? And, um, so, I've been doing piloting program. Ooh. Careful. <laughs> uh, so I did three sets of three second pause reps at the bottom. So I did a set of five, a set of six, and a set of seven, um, all with three second pause on every rep, and then went up and did five sets of six at a heavier weight. So that destroyed me. My hips, glutes, and quads, and I'm sorry, yeah. everything are sore. So. Yeah, so we're going to put those clips in. And then, so I did not get my max. I failed. Quite largely. You did. So, <laughs> uh, what'd you go for? 225? So, yeah, I went for 225. I got 205 successfully, which you guys will see. And then 225 was not happening yesterday. So, let's go take a look at those. So you just saw the two clips of my successful and my fail, as well as Russell's squats, yep. which were successful. Um, so we want to just briefly talk about uh, failing a lift attempt or a PR attempt, mm -hmm. how to do that properly. Whether you should or shouldn't. Yeah, so. when to, when to grind it through. Mm -hmm. um, so uh -huh. I guess we'll talk about safety first. Um, what are your views on Give people lifting enough room. Uh, don't walk beside people's bars when they're benching. Don't stand right behind somebody when they're squatting. Um, and don't try and walk over someone's deadlift bar. I've had that happen during happened. a lift. Yeah, so just give people enough room. And usually everything's fine. You never know when someone will fall, when they'll have to bail, when stuff just doesn't go right. You don't, you don't want to mentally fuck them up either. Like people, people they're benching 400 pounds now. If you even graze that, they're gonna drop it on themselves and break their shoulders, so not cool. Like, what do you think the role of a spotter is? Do you think there's a time? Steve, <laughs> shaking the table. Do you think that there's a time where a spotter can actually be dangerous? Um, it can be good or bad. So, for example, I wasn't able to spot Becca and her squat there. She just didn't get out of the uh, the bottom of the squat. So, I'd basically just be picking up a person that has no momentum. So dangerous for me and dangerous for him. Yep. Um, I actually saw a video just a few minutes ago of Amanda Bucci and Emily Hayden, and Amanda was squatting, and she had to bail, and it was her first time. Um, and she, so she went to bail, and she wasn't comfortable bailing, and Emily, her spotter, actually had the bar dropped on her. So that That's would be a situation, they were both okay luckily, but yeah. um, that would be a situation where a spotter is a bad idea. If you... Um, if it's more than you just need a tiny little bit of help, the spotter should actually get out of the way. 
and let the person fully bail yeah, so from I, under the bar. I had that once with Priest Null. He was squatting, I want to say 400, uh, or maybe four. No, maybe it was four. Yeah. Maybe a bit more at the time, maybe five, uh, almost five. Anyways, and uh, so he's using the safeties at the bottom, but uh, the safeties are way below where he'll get to naturally, so they're, they're not like the rests where you can. Yeah, where's my squat right gets down to the safeties? Um, Some tiny. And uh, he had to bail on it. I wasn't able to get him out of the bottom of it. He got stuck right at the bottom. He had to bail on it and actually rolled off, like I bounced on the little safety things and almost hit me. So, like, I just got out of the way. So, uh, I guess you just gotta know what your situation is. Um, sometimes you'll be able to spot people up and it'll all be good, but yeah. I guess sometimes you can't. You just gotta run. Yeah, and as the squatter, you should know too, there are instances where, yeah, of course you need to push yourself and, you know, grind through your squat. Steven. <laughs> saying hi. Um, grind through your squat, but there's also Stop. times where bailing is actually the better option. Um, you know, live to squat another day yeah. is a big thing. So if you're at the bottom of your squat, like I was in my video, there was no way I was going to be able to get up. If I did, you know, my knees probably would have caved, my back would have gone, and I probably would have ended up getting hurt. Oh, uh, basically. Um, What's that type of squat? Zeltra squat? Yeah. People have it like in their elbows. Like you basically is Zeltra squatting a person plus all the weight. Exactly. So um, there's points where it's like it's not beneficial to try and grind out a rep. That's not going to happen. Um, now that being said, if you're just almost at lockout and you have to give it that little extra, then of course grind it out. But Yeah, or get a spot on that. But it's hard to get a spot from the very bottom. Yeah, and if you're spotting on squats... I usually recommend the under armpits or up whatever. Um, don't feel weird if it's a girl. It's about safety, not about boob grabbing. But it's also well, about make sure your squatter knows how you're going to spot them. Because if you go and squat someone and you accidentally brush their boob and they were not expecting that, that could also be dangerous. So figure out your spot before you squat. Full up <laughs> and lift. That's the best way to do it. Lift? <laughs> don't do that. Um, um, but yeah, so... Is that basically all? I think so. So, in conclusion, don't be afraid to fail. There are safe ways to do it. Um, what else did we talk about? Yeah, we didn't talk too much about comfort zone. Like mm. people that never okay, leave. Intensity. That, that's what we should do. Yeah. So people that we're not concluding yet. Never <laughs> leave their little comfort zone of like, hey, like me I can squat two twenty five for eight or whatever, but they never try to squat two forty five for eight or two fifty five. They never try to get that progressive overload yeah so like my first year of like weight training that was kind of me um i was number one scared of failing because i would feel like a failure which is not the case if you fail a lift you're not failing your training there's still a place for it um and two i was uh scared of getting hurt while failing because i had never failed before so get comfortable with bailing out from the bar um, I think it was you who got me to bail the first time. Yeah. Just, uh, literally yeah. just put a weight that you can squat and just practice bailing. Get comfortable with it. That way when you go for a higher intensity PR or a weight that you're not used to, you're not, like, you know how to instinctively react so you won't get hurt. Um, because if you're always in your comfort zone, you're not going to see gains in your strength or in your physique. You're just going to stay very stagnant, Yeah. Uh, which I did for, like, the first year of my training. Yeah. We see a lot, especially at one of the gyms we go to people like literally haven't made progress in weights or in size or weight loss or muscle gain or anything in like two years uh but i always see him doing the exact same thing every single time um now we'll actually conclude so yeah. don't be afraid to bail don't be afraid to train to the point where you might have to bail once in a while um so get that intensity up actually push yourself to your physical limits um what else did we talk about i'm already forgetting spotting yeah, P practice spotting, know how you're spotting, um, get comfortable spotting or bailing, whichever one you decide to do, um, get PRs. PRs all day! <laughs> um, oh, thanks for everybody that did participate in the giveaway. Uh, not a bad reaction from it. That's no, it was pretty, fun, that's good. Pretty decent, it was kind of cool just seeing everybody from all these different places, girl from... Becca's hometown actually ended up winning, or not hometown, but one of your hometowns. Last so hometown. Out, yeah. <laughs> uh, she ended up winning it, so that's been sent out by now, and uh, hopefully you'll have that soon. So again, thanks for everybody that participated in that, and all that continued support. It's pretty cool.
Cool. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That is going to be it. And we'll catch you in the next one.